the study has just been completed, and in, in this study we compared two groups of very severe uncontrollable hypertensive patients. In one group they received treatment with the device to uh, silence the nerves in the kidneys. The other group of patients just continued on the best available medication. At six months follow-up, when the two groups were compared, there was a huge difference. In the treated group with the denervation procedure in the kidney, blood pressure fell on average from 175 uh, down to just over 140, which is target. What we've demonstrated in one sense is that the nerves to the kidneys are a very important component in causing high blood pressure. Uh, these nerves have been shown to be overactive. That does things like making the kidneys retain too much salt in the body. And when these nerves are silenced, that's reversed and the blood pressure falls. I think we're on the verge of being able to offer a very effective, durable treatment that in many of the severe hypertensives will supplement their existing medication. In some, it will enable them to take less medication. In a few, it'll enable them to take no medication at all, as we've seen in this trial. The technique involves putting a specially designed catheter, like a catheter, say, for a coronary angiogram, but engineered differently, into both kidney arteries. And the stimulant nerves to the kidney, which are overactive in hypertension, lie in the wall of the arteries, and they're within reach of energy which the catheter delivers. And this energy silences the nerves, we think permanently, and that reverses the tendency these nerves have to put up blood pressure. They mainly do that by making the body retain too much salt. I think every uh, doctor with a specialty interest in high blood pressure has have patients who are just so severe and they try their very best and I've done this uh, myself with many patients and one of them was the second patient to enter this trial who I treated for 10 years, uh, tried all the tricks I knew, her blood pressure didn't budge, it was still 200. She, she kept coming back to me, I don't know why frankly. Uh, she was the second patient in the study and has done beautifully and her pressure now is about 145. I think we have a totally revolutionary and powerful new treatment here. Um, at the moment we'll offer it to people with very severe hypertension and it's going to make all the difference in the world to many of them. Of course the future may be that this procedure will be used more widely in milder hypertension and I guess my dream is we might cure hypertension. That's hoping for a lot of course. But I'm but I am hoping.